Hello everyone, GWR Oliver here, and you know, I've been collecting Thomas and Friends for a long time. And I mean I've been collecting Thomas for a very long time. And you know, none of the ranges have ever caught my interest as much as Wooden Railway. I except for Tommy, of course. Tommy will always be the best, but today I'm going to be reviewing the differences between Thomas and Friends, Wooden Railway, and Thomas Wood. I've noticed a lot of changes throughout the years, and I'm sure everyone has with all the different toy companies that have taken over and, you know, taken the wheel with Thomas and Friends, and today, I'm going to be looking at those differences to see the old versus the new. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. Hello everyone, um, just a little disclaimer before we get started. So, um, before we begin, I do not want any sort of hate going on in the comments. Someone might like Wooden Railway, someone might like Thomas Wood, someone could like both. That is completely okay. Everyone has their opinions. And I'm not going to be biased in this review towards either one. So, as much as I've shown hatred for either line in the previous videos I've made, this video is going to be a bit different. So, no hating in the comments. I do not support that. I do not allow that on my videos at all. And, yeah, so constructive criticism is advised, and if people say they like Thomas Wood or Thomas Wooden Railway, just leave them be. They have their opinions. This is just a fun review, so let's get right into it. Ah, yes, Wooden Railway, the center point of every Thomas fan's nostalgia. And, well... I don't blame anyone for getting nostalgic from Thomas Wooden Railway. I mean, look at it. It's just so, so, how do I put it? Well crafted. From all the limited releases to all the most pointless characters, this range has undergone a lot of changes and has definitely been through its ups and downs. From clickety-clack track to smooth track, all the way to Thomas Wood track, there's no doubting that Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway has undergone many changes. He and his friends have undergone a lot of different overhauls, and there's no shame in that. I mean, it's understandable that Mattel and Fisher-Price have to keep up with the times. But Thomas Wood was definitely the biggest jump from one type of Thomas Wooden Railway to another. And... I will be discussing the biggest differences that fans had issues and compliments with to the Mattel company. Hello, GWR Oliver. Are you going to be reviewing Edward and I's wood models in this video? Oh, Edward and Henry. Uh, hey guys. Sorry, but you don't exactly have Thomas Wood models yet. What? We don't have wood models? That makes me so angry! I swear, if this has to do with that doll Nia and Rebecca, oh, I'm gonna kill someone. Oh, jeez, sorry. Anyways, on with the video. So, while it would be nice to go over the hugest differences on the models themselves right now, well, I shouldn't even say models, probably toys, um, I'd say we should start where every Thomas and Friends adventure starts. In the toy store. So back in the day, you'd be browsing, you know, like, Oh, look at this LBSC Tom, it's out of package, I'm gonna buy that. But then you'd come over here, and you look on the shelf, and you would see Thomas Wooden Railway. And this is what the old packaging used to look like on the engines. It had a blue striped background, it would have their name presented above them. And the engine would be in clear packaging, and you could look on the back. And I know this is a bit torn, but for some reason they used a Fisher-Price Percy on this. But you'd get all the, you know, little details and stuff, and you'd get the little wooden railway logo, Brit Allcroft. And, yeah, that was pretty much what you would get. You can look at their face, and you could look at the back, and look and ex inspect and see if there's any sort of damage to the model, or maybe you got a factory error. And this is what you would see on the shelf back then. It's a very nice package, very simple and very plain, but it works. And down here is what you get... <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, down here is what you would get on the shelves with Thomas and Friends wood. As you can tell, the packaging is very... It's similar but different all at the same time. 
so we get our little view of the engine. The name is now here on the side. And you get to look at their little face. You get to look at all the little cutesy details. You get to acknowledge that there's no paint on the back. And, yeah, I mean, this is what you get. It's a very, very, how do I describe it? Sort of pastel background. It's got green for the bottom area. And it's got blue skies with clouds that have wood outlines around them. Now, the biggest change with these is on the back. You get an image of the engine, and then you get a description for them, which used to be contained on character cards that used to be sold with the engines, but now it's just on the packaging. Let's take a look at Percy's, for example. Meet the best friend. Percy may not be a thrill seeker, but he's good-natured and always ready to help. He can be a little shy, but you couldn't ask for a better friend. And, I mean, yeah, this is pretty accurate to Percy, I must say. And the packaging isn't bad, it's, it's, it's okay, but, I mean, for some reason I prefer the old stuff. It's so much nicer to see on the shelves. And also, you get a little promo image of the engine up there, which is kind of nice. And this is what you would see. So, let me put this back up, so you just see a bunch of these up on the shelves. And let me pull out some other characters who have more controversial descriptions, to say the least. The two characters I am presenting you guys with is uh, Big Bad Diesel and Asthma. And let's just get right into it and look at their description. So, you know, we got a little Diesel 10, he's got a little good packaging, you know, it's cool Diesel 10. He's got his promo art, and he looks very big and bad up there. Okay, oh boy. Meet the menace! There's no getting around it. Diesel 10 can be a bully. He teases, he's crafty, and he's usually looking to start trouble. But he does have a caring side. He just has a hard time showing it. Right. Now tell me, since when has Diesel 10 ever showed that he has a caring side? He literally tried to murder Thomas and Lady in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. A movie that I'm sure everyone knows about at this point. Even kids. And even in the CGI series. I don't remember an episode where he's ever had that much of a good side. I mean, sure, he's shown some remorse for some of his actions, but nothing too intense, you know? He's not a big lovey-dovey diesel guy. There's no such thing as that in the show, except for a few diesels. I don't know. Sorry for the random little jump cut. I could not get her description right, but I think I'm going to get it this time. So here we go. Meet the bold soul! Asthma is fun, feisty, and... Fearless, which makes her very popular. She spends most of her time in her homeland of India, but she's left a lasting impression on Thomas and his friends. This character, this character, left a lasting impression on Thomas and his friends, and she's popular? I don't know about you guys, but when I went to Toys R Us on its last few days, and I looked at all the stock, this engine right here was one of the last ones left. She had an entire row of asthmas ready to attack. And, I mean, I don't get it. Why are they praising her so much? I guess she's the female character, and she's so big and strong because she's got all of these weird wheels, but it's... I don't, I don't get it. I mean, sure, she inspired Thomas to basically not destroy himself because he was singing about it and whatnot, but she was only in one movie, and that's really it. And, I, I mean, I, I get that Thomas Wood wants to, like, say out to parents, like, you should buy this character because they are fun, feisty, and fearless. But at the same time, I mean, you don't have to do that. If you watch the show, you already know who these characters are, at least you should. And parents' decisions to get Diesel 10 because he's caring... It's just a lie. I mean, they're lying about these characters to get more sales, and that's kind of gimmicky, and it's kind of, you know, not a good thing at all. And I don't really get it. I mean, I understand it from a business perspective. But from Thomas and Friends, I did not expect this to happen. But, I mean, come on, it's, it's just the descriptions on the back of the box. I mean, there's nothing that could possibly be worse than that. So let me just pull out one of everyone's favorite characters, Hugo, and, you know, that's his wooden railway model. Let's take a look at his Thomas Wood model, and oh my god, he's small! Okay, you know what, I... I... Okay, okay. 
This is fine. This is completely fine. So they made them a bit smaller. I mean, it's just for characters like Hugo, right? Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, hey, that's actually pretty good. Oh, no! I said I wouldn't be biased. I said I wouldn't shut down people's opinions. And that's not what I'm going to do. But... What is this? What is this? Is Spencer really an 060? I mean, doesn't this look at least a little bit better? I mean, sure, it's fully painted, that's nice, and he's got a good face, but this? Why is he so small? So, okay, shrinking down the tender engines, I can at least sort of get behind it, but not only is that one of the worst parts about the tender engines, look at this! You see this tender? This is the old James tender. It's got divots, and rivets, and Henry's got schmivets, and, and Gordon? Just look at that! It's a block with decals on it! Even the back isn't painted! And even characters that no one likes, like Young Bao, it even applies to him too. They ruined an already ruined character. Ugh. I know I'm getting mad, and I know this is getting frustrating, even for the people watching, but even Emily, look at how blocky she is. This is one of the biggest problems with Thomas Wood, and this is what Mattel needs to cut down on. The blockiness. I get it. You want to add decals to a really, really tr otherwise trashy looking product. But this is just not the way to do it. I mean, look at this, James, and then look at this one. I mean, this one, it... it, it these aren't even separate, they just go out of the body, they just... It, it, it looks weird and, and unnatural, it's so strange, he doesn't even look like an engine anymore. Okay guys, I'm gonna sit down and just real talk with you for a second. So, I've kinda collected my thoughts, and you know, they're just toy trains, right? Wooden toy trains. Right? So why should I be upset over them? I mean, it's just, it's... It's just freaking Thomas the Tank Engine, right? It's not like he's part of my childhood or anything, you know. He's just Thomas. So, what's the big deal? Why is everyone getting so mad? I mean, they shrunk down the tender engines, they stopped painting their engines, and, and I mean... What about the rolling stock? Oh. No! Wait, that one actually isn't too bad. What the heck is that? Annie and Clarabelle. What happened to you? This is Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway. And this is the conversion to Thomas Wood. And this, this is where I draw the line, and they are far beyond it. I mean, first we thought Blue Ben was bad. Then we thought Mike was too small. Oh, we were such spoiled brats because we didn't know these were coming along in the future. Keep them you and Oliver, my friend. You need to calm down. Surely it isn't too bad, whatever you're talking about. These are the new express coaches. Okay, I am gone now. I mean, like... I get that you can take these people and, like, stick them inside the coaches and then just have them go on their merry way and stuff. But, I mean, like, what's the point? You lose so much by making this. It's unrealistic, which, I mean, honestly, in Thomas and Friends, who cares about realism at this point? It's ugly and it's baffling. I mean, look, it's just that. There's, there's nothing holding them in, there's no clips, so they just fall right out and go up hills. And I mean, this is Wooden Railway now. This is Thomas Wood. And it's... I, I... I was okay with it at first. I mean, sure, it seemed bad, but it wasn't the end of the world. But now that I'm looking at it closer, it's... it's just... Why? I mean, look! This entire chassis is plastic. It's all plastic, except these little wood blocks. It's... It's... Gordon, James, Henry, take it away. Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. Okay, at least it's just the rolling stock. At least that didn't carry over to any other... Oh, come on! Uh, I mean, this was totally a needed addition. You can just... 
take the little driver and, you know, put him inside Bernie and he goes driving along his way and it's all cool. He's like, and then the fat controller comes along and he's like, Name's your top of head. I'm going to get into Winston. <laughs> I'm going to drive away because I'm the fat controller. I'm so top of head and I can do anything I want. Oh, and did I mention the humans from Thomas Wood? You know, these guys look like freaking little tykes dudes. I mean, what is this ad? You can move their legs. So what? I could have imagined that Sir Topham Hat was sitting down. I didn't have to actually physically do it. And, I mean, the animals, it's just a piece of plastic with a little splotch of paint on it. And that's, that's it. I mean, not even the tail's painted. So, what does this add? I don't know! <laughs> well, I guess this review is really going off the rails! <laughs> okay, I've... Whew. I've recollected my thoughts again, and you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop abusing Charlie for a little bit. <laughs> God, I hate Charlie. But uh, I'm just gonna look at the sets, and you know, see what I can get. And I'm gonna aim for $60 and see what I can get for it. Okay, you know, I've got 60 bucks, and oh, look what's on the shelves. It's the Thomas and Friends Wood uh, Snowy Rail set. This, this looks interesting. Look at all this promo art. It's, it's looks good. Okay, let's, let's, let's buy it. Let's go. So yeah, here's the snowy rail set. Let's let's open it up and see what we get for sixty bucks. Tally ho! Is that it? I mean, this is it. This is what I get for paying sixty dollars. I mean, a crummy looking snow decal James and your average. What is this? Cargo car. Only a fool would call British rolling stock by American terms. It, it's, it's stock standard, too. There's nothing special about it. These are sold all the time in the wooden railway era. And I mean, you get this little wooden crate, you know, you can put it on. Put it on here. And that's it! That's the only playability you get here. I mean, James goes around and he's like, oh, I never thought that I would be over the joy and ecstasy, blah, 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 blah. And it's just, it's, it has a tunnel. I mean, that's cool. That's, that's cool. But look, this, this costs $60. This, and you expect me to buy this. I could have a wooden railway paradise with $60. Oh my God. God, this is, I mean, I could understand if this set was like 30 bucks, maybe, I don't know, even 40 would be better, but $60 for this? Are you crazy? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It, it does not ring any bell in my brain that says, this is a good idea. You know, we should sell this for $60. I, 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 what? I mean, maybe, you know, if it came like a bonus engine like Thomas, and he was like, Hey, James, how you doing? Yeah, let's go on an adventure. And maybe if there was like a siding here, and it had like a like a lumber company thingy, or something snow-related, not a crane and a tunnel. The, oh, yeah, and a tiny bridge. <laughs> kind of all right. And all of the tracks in this set have snow on them, so you can't use them anywhere else in your layout. Even this has snow. The crane has snow and icicles all over it. You can't use this layout anywhere except for in this set. This is the only set you can use this in because that's how lazy they were. And that's how cheap they were. I mean, like, even if we had freaking one of the worst characters in the show, Ashima, and she was like, Oh, Tommy's! I'm gonna miss friends! Go on an adventure! And I mean, all, this is all you can do with it. You can just send your engine in a big oval, and, and that's it. That's literally it. This is not worth $60. This is like six minutes of playtime. That's it. I mean, look, the kid on the packaging isn't even holding James the proper way. His tender is behind the <clears throat> cargo car. It's got a truck. But, I, I don't get it. Why this? I could have bought three of these sets with $60 if this was Wooden Railway. Three of them! 
And you know, what bothers me most is how it wasn't even advertised as it should have been on, on, on the box. Look, it goes, it curves around, and then it goes around again and around again. It looks like it's a super big set. It looks like it lasts for freaking ever. But, but no, it's, it's just this. It's just this. Why? It, okay, this isn't even the worst set. I'm going to go over one more, and then I'm done. This is the lift and load set. Is it awful? Yes. Does it come with a terrible character? Yes, it does. If you want to know more, watch my review on it. I did that before. Yes, this set is awful. So with all that being said, and with all that <laughs> rage out of my system, which one is better? Which one is better? Thomas Wooden Railway or Thomas Wood? I'll give you five seconds to give me an answer. I mean, starting right now it's Thomas Wooden Railway. The painted details, heck, the fully painted bodies, the proper rolling stock, the big engines. I mean, it's all superior. I mean, don't get me wrong. Thomas Wood has a few upsides, albeit not many at all, but it's... It's just a direct downgrade, and honestly, I don't think it's going to last very long. A company is going to buy out Mattel since they're running out of money, and they're going to change Thomas Wooden Railway, and, you know, they're going to take Thomas Wood, basically, and hopefully change it back. Or who knows, it might get an entirely new range that looks exactly like Wooden Railway. Kind of like take and play to adventures. But I just don't get the change. I don't understand it. I mean, I get they wanted to save money and be cheap, as all belief, but... It's no excuse to give us such trashy toys. And this isn't just coming from the perspective of a longtime fan of the show. I can't even see this being suitable for children. Parents aren't even buying this trash. When I went to Toys R Us on its final closing days, you know what was left? Thomas Wood. All the Trackmaster was gone. All the, all the wooden railway was gone. Even Adventures was gone. But Wood? It stuck around because no one wanted it. It was something no one asked for, and no one needed, and no one ever will need it. I don't see any sense of improvement in this. There's really no way to redeem this, unless you bring back Wooden Railway. Mattel, if you're listening, and I doubt you are, but this is not the wood that we grew up with. It's not the wood that anyone should grow up with. This is bad. It's bankruptcy. You're just taking money from people, and, 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 and you're just, you're giving them almost nothing. It's like a Kickstarter with no rewards. I mean, to be fair, I, I know people have their opinions. And I know people are going to hate on me for not liking Thomas Wood. All three of Thomas Wood's fans are going to hate on me. But I don't care. This is my opinion. You have yours, and I have mine. And, um... Basically, that's all I have to say. If you're going to a store and you see Thomas Wood and Thomas Wooden Railway next to each other, you should probably go for Thomas Wooden Railway. But that is entirely your choice, not mine. I'm gonna, I am not going to put the words into your mouth. So there you have it. So that's it. That's my thoughts on the whole Wooden Railway sham. I mean, uh, upgrade. So uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you didn't, then I don't care. So, just leave your thoughts in the comments, and, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, see you guys in the next video. And I hope the Tommy Thomas movie, uh, is going very well in production, so, yeah. Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.